So this is the third lecture on throughput networks and this lecture is about interconnection um, between the networks interconnecting throughput networks. Uh, we have already seen that there are four uh, defining equations, four types of parameters, the Z parameters, the Y parameters, the transmission parameters, which are called the ABCT parameters and the hybrid parameters. And we have also seen on the uh, last term that we can uh, relate the parameters with each other. We can write the Z in terms of Y, the Y in terms of Z, and the H in uh, Z in terms of H, the H in terms of Z, so on and so forth. Now, <clears throat> uh, this time we'll be looking at connection of two port networks, interconnecting two port networks and writing the equivalent parameters for the two port networks. So for example, you have a, a two port network given like this. Suppose this is this is your network A and you have these ports. This is the input port 11 dash. This is the output port 22 dash. And you define, because this is network A, this voltage you define as V1A, this voltage as uh, V2A, and this current as I1A, and this current as I2A. And suppose you have another network here, which is network B, a two port network B, again with input ports one one dash, output ports two two dash, and the voltage as V one B input voltage, our voltage at the output port V two B, the current as I one B and the current as I to B, and suppose you connect them. And the easiest connection that seems to be possible is like you connect them like this. What is what is now the resultant network? The resultant network that you see is again a two-port network because you now have on the input side V1A and on the output side V2B. But what, what is the equivalent uh, representation of the this connection. So this kind of a connection is called a tandem connection. Tandem connection. And let us examine it in more detail. If we look at this connection that we have made, what is, does it actually do to our network? So uh, before we do that, we write down our equations, right? V1A and I1A. We write down in terms of the ABCD parameters, right? So A A B A C A D A, right? This is for the network one, where we have V two A and I two A. We already know that the sending and voltages and the currents are described in terms of receiving and voltages like this. In a similar way, we can write down for network B, V one B, I one B equal to now. This is for network B A B. B, B, C, B, D, B, and we have V to B and I to B here, right? And what happens because of this connection that we have created in between is that we have V to A is equal to V one B, right? And this. And I two A is equal to minus I one B. We have a minus sign here for both these curves, right? So, can we eliminate these? intermediate variables because if you look at this side you have v1a and you have v2b here on this side so we have v1a here and i1a here and v2b here and minus i2b here so we have to eliminate these parameters in between and if we look at these equations that we have got we can write v2a as v1b 
and I1, I2A as minus I1B. So basically, if we, if you write, uh, if you substitute V1B and I1B from, from the second equation into the first equation, <coughs> by first writing V1B as V2A and I1B as minus I2A. So then we can just straight away write and the second equation. I will rewrite the second equation by using this substitution as instead of V1B, I write V2A and instead of I1B, I write minus I2A. And then I have this A, B, 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 C, B, D, B, and V to B minus I to B. So because of this interconnecting equations, I have rewritten my second equation like this. And now I can substitute my second equation back in the first equation because this I2, V to A minus I to A, which is here, can be written in terms of V to B and minus I to B. So when I do this substitution, I get V1A, I1A equal to AA, BA, CA, DA, AB, BB, CB, DB, V to B minus I to B. If you if you look at the overall two port network, V1A and I1A are actually the input parameters. V2B and I2B are actually the output parameters for the overall network. So basically, uh, your two port network is now an equivalent network in which the input voltage is V1A, the input current is I1A, the output voltage is V2B, and the output current is I2B. And the equivalent ABCD parameters of of this network, where you have two networks in tandem, is the product of the two ABCD parameters. So the the conclusion is that if you connect two port two two port networks in tandem, then what happens is that the ABCD parameters of one network get multiplied with the ABCD parameters of the other network and the resultant transmission parameters or the ABCD parameters are the product of the two transmission parameters. Right? So this is one type of connection that is possible. Another connection that is possible is, is the parallel connection. How is the parallel connection going to be done? Again, let us draw the networks. So you have, for example, a network A here, another network B here. And you have these, <clears throat> the input port, the output port, input port, the output port, let me write down the voltages, we went A, I went A, V, V to A, I to A, one, one dash, one, one dash, this is V, one B, I went B, this is I to B, this is V to B. These are two two dash terminals. Two two dash. Two two dash terminals. Now, when I have to connect them in parallel, I have to ensure that these voltages that are applying at the input side are the same, and the voltages that are applying at the output side side are the same. So, for parallel connection, I need to connect like this. and call this voltage as V1. 
similarly i will connect like this and call this overall voltage that i'm applying as v2 and this overall current that is going in i'll call this yi1 and this overall current that is going in here i call this i2 so this is a parallel connection and we can see from on the connection that we have made that v1 is equal to v1a is equal to v1b and v2 is equal to v2a is equal to v2b and i1 the current here is actually dividing in i1a in this and i1b here and similarly i2 is dividing into i2a here and i2b here so i1 is equal to i1a plus i1b and i2 is equal to i2a plus i2b so what i can do is i can write down the y parameters for the for the two networks so for for the first network if i write down the y parameter i1a i2a is equal to y11a y12a y21a y22a v1a v2a for the second network i can write i i1b i2b is equal to y11b y12b y21b y22b i can write down v1b and v2b and because of this relationship that i have here what i can do is i can just add the two equations up All right if i add the two equations up these two what i will get on the left hand side is the sum of these currents i1a and i1b and i2a and i2b and the sum i can write as i1 i2 on the left hand side because that is what is i1 and i2 and on the right hand side i can take because v1a and v1b are common v are same and they are equal to v1 and v2a and v2b are same and they are equal to v2 so i can take these two these two common this is for network a plus the same equation for network b y11b and others i2 to b and i can take v1 and v2 common so what i get is the equivalent representation which is uh, here you have the input side uh, the currents for the input and the output port and the voltage for the input and the output port and the result resultant two port network has y parameters equal to the sum of the two y parameters y parameters is are equal to the sum of sum of y parameters of network a and in network b so uh if you look at this overall two port network that we are obtaining because of this parallel connection it is the sum uh, of the y parameters of network a and network b so in conclusion if you convert if we connect two two port networks in parallel the resultant two port network would have y parameters which are equal to the sum of the y parameters of network a and network b uh, there is one more thing that is important in this and that is in order to avoid short circuiting uh, impedances of the other network because of this interconnection uh, because uh, we generally assume that we when we connect these two networks we ensure that the characteristics of the networks individually do not change because of the connection right so it is possible that because of this parallel connection you may short circuit certain impedances inside one of the networks so that is why you sometimes need to employ an isolation transformer like this on 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 the output port which is an it is a one is to one isolation transformer in order to avoid that kind of uh, short circuit so a one to one 
ideal isolation transformer would need would need to be connected in order to avoid such connect such short circuits taking place now this was about the parallel connection so for example is uh, on the last one we saw that the t circuit that the t circuit which is given by uh, like this you have two t circuits and you connect them in parallel say for example this is y a y b y c and another t circuit and you're connecting them in parallel so uh let me call this yd ye yf and if i want to make a parallel connection i will just connect these two sides these two sides this is my v1 i1 and on this side i'll connect these two sides and these two sides so this is my v2 i2 and in this case i have to ensure that i i do not inadvertently short circuit any resistance otherwise i'll have to employ an isolation transformer for example in this case uh, there is already a short circuit here so this is not changing uh, this is not creating any problem but if for example i had an admittance here another admittance say for example here and then this this short circuit that i have here for this is is going to short circuit this admittance here and that is why i would require uh, be, because the ad, the admittance between so this is 1 1 dash this is 2 2 dash again 1 1 dash this is 2 2 dash so the admittance so so this is now this is now terminal 2 dash and terminal 1 dash there is, there is a short circuit between 2 dash and 1 dash for this port but the, you don't have a short circuit between 2 dash and 1 dash for this port but when you connect these two two port networks together this short circuit between 2 dash and 1 1 dash automatically creates a short circuit between 2 dash and 1 dash overall so this admittance is actually uh, goes out of the picture so that is why you would need an ad, you would need a transformer at the output port to avoid that kind of a scenario but in this case since we don't have this uh, we don't have this uh, this this impedance here this admittance here so we don't need to connect the isolation transformer this is just to show you this now if you have uh, if you make the interconnection like this you already know the y parameters for the uh, individual pi network here and the individual pi network here so the overall pi pi parameters if you remember for a pi network the input side parameter is by a plus by b the input side the output side parameter uh, the uh, uh, short circuit parameter is by a plus by c and the uh, transfer parameters uh, y12 and y21 are equal to by a minus by a so for for one network i can write down y11 a y22 a this is for 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 the a network is by a plus by b by a plus by c and this y2 sorry y21 is equal to y12 is equal to the this this in common which is minus y a and similarly you can write down for the b network uh, y11 b y2 to b for the b network here we have if you look at from this side this is y c plus y d y c plus y d and for the network here we have y f plus y d same network y f plus y d if you look from this side and this y 2 1 b is equal to y 1 to b is equal to minus y d for e and the overall y parameters for the two networks are just the sum of the of the parameters for the 
y parameters for the two networks taken individually. So overall y11 is going to be ya plus yb plus yc plus yd. Similarly, y22 is going to be ya plus yc plus yf plus yd. And y12 is going to be equal to y21 is going to be minus ya plus yd. So overall, the relationship between v1 and v2, i1 and i2 in terms of the y parameters, which is given by y11, y22, y21, y21 would be given like this. So you see that this otherwise seems to be a complicated network, but just because you know that the y parameters are added up when you have a parallel connection, you can easily write down the relationship between the two two port. Uh, overall relationship uh, between the input port and the output port. The last connection that we are going to see is the series connection. Again, uh, we take two two port networks, right? uh, network A and network B. And we have the input port here the output, uh, input port here, the output port here, output. So this is our V1 A. This is our V1 B. This is our connection I1 A, input current, input current I1 B. For the output port, we have V2 A, uh, V2 B, and the current I2 A, here the current I2. B and if you want to connect them in series, we have to ensure that the same current flows through the networks. So if if your current that is going in is I1, this I1, we as we, we have seen from the first lecture, has to come out, right? And this is equal to I I1 A, I1 is equal to I1 A, and because of this connection, this I1 A is actually like this coming out and going in uh, into I1B, uh, going into the port B and becoming equivalent to I1B. And this overall voltage is V1. So because of this connection, we have ensured that V1 is equal to V1A plus V1B. And I1 is equal to I1A is equal to I1B. So this is the series connection at the input port and the output port in a similar way you can have uh, a series connection like this, where you take this as I2, right? this as your V2, and you just make this connection. So this I2 goes in, comes out, and goes into the second port. So at the output side, we have V2 is equal to V2A plus V2B, which you can see from this KVL in this loop. And similarly, you can write down I2 is equal to I2A is equal to I2B. So this is the relationship that we get when we connect the two two port parameters in series. And if you look at if you look at uh, the governing equations in terms of the Z parameters, you'll get something like this: V1, V2. For network A in terms of Z parameters, I'll just write capital Z A, V1 A, V2 A, I1 A, I2 A. And for the other network, we can write V1 B, the B network V2 B equal to Z, small a, small b. I1B, I2B, where this ZA is actually all your, uh, the matrix Z11A, Z12A, Z21A, Z22A. So from from this relationship, we can, we can easily see that if we add these two equations up, on the left-hand side, we will get V1, 
and v2 because v1 is equal to v1 a plus v1 b and v2 is v2 a plus v2 b and then we can take i1 and i2 common on the right hand side because i1 is equal to i1 a is equal to i1 b and i2 is equal to i2 a is equal to i2 b and what we get essentially is on the left hand side we get v1 v2 and on the right hand side we get z a plus z b i1 i2 so overall or the overall circuit uh, overall two port network where v1 is the input port v2 is the output port uh, if you connect the two two port networks in series the z parameters are added up right that's that is the relationship between the two two port networks again in this case to avoid a short circuit we may need to connect an isolation transformer for uh, uh, at the output side in order to avoid a short circuit a one is to one isolation to transformer depending upon what kind of networks are connecting in series so in general you will you will see that it an ideal isolation transformer one is to one is shown at this port in order to avoid a short circuit so this was all about uh, the types of connections so in case we see a complicated circuit uh, which seems uh, like there are many two port networks connected we can uh, we can decide uh, uh, whether the uh, connection is series or parallel or uh, tandem and consequently write down the abc uh, abcd parameters the z parameters and the h uh, or the y parameters for the networks and uh, solve the problem uh, as the case may be okay so uh, this is how we simplify two port networks which are connected uh, to each other so this was the last part of this lecture thank you very much